Patrick Mitsuing is no stranger to the stage, but for this one, he is. I'm still pinching myself, you know, that I, I'm here and I'm part of everything. Mitsuing is Cree from Makwa Sagagan First Nation in Saskatchewan. He performs the traditional men's fancy dance and runs a dance company. This week, he's showing tens of thousands of football fans what he can do. This year, the Super Bowl invited performers like Mitsuing to showcase Indigenous culture in the lead-up to the game. At an event last week, for the first time, league officials read a land acknowledgement. I feel like, you know, long overdue, but like so excited that they're doing it. But some want much more change. While a couple of pro teams have discarded controversial nicknames, Kansas City still uses one, the Chiefs, and uses a fan chant, the Tomahawk Chop. Indigenous groups say it's cultural appropriation, and the team is the focus of repeated protests. I just want to be seen as a human being and not as this thing you're mocking. Groups like Not In Our Honor advocate against the use of Native American imagery in sport and hope positive steps like this aren't just a token. What's going to happen after Super Bowl leaves? Are they still going to carry this on? I would hope so. Um, and we would hope so going forward with other Super Bowls. Mitsuing feels change is coming. I know when I was growing up, it was hard for me to find someone I could look up to that looked like me. And... Uh, you know, now we're taking up all these spaces and, and being included, it, it's so amazing. Amazing, he says, for this and the next generation to see. Stephanie Mercier, CBC News, Vancouver.